How's it going, my fellow guardians? Welcome to a new video with your boy, UTIC Archangel, the undiscovered talent of YouTube and Twitch. My Twitch link will be in the bottom of the description box below, as well as on your screen right now. Come over there, watch your boy play some Destiny. Right now, I'm playing a horror game, so watch you play games like Resident Evil and Evil Then, but anyways, um, previously made a video talking about Bungie are finally deciding to to do a rebalance, essentially, of um, the game. You know, to, to, to they, they want to focus on gunplay and after making that video um i've been doing some thinking about it and i'm kind of curious on some things when it comes to their rebalance as in yes their rebalance is supposed to focus on gunplay which is good but there's also some things within gunplay that needs work as in the one hit kill potential something that you'll hear me say a lot in my dozen videos is one hit kill potential what is one hit kill potential one hit kill kill potential is basically anything in a video game that can one shot regardless you know it doesn't require you being in a gunfight it doesn't require you anything other than hitting a button you got you got a free kill and for them their thought process is oh that's alts you know we nerf free re nerf abilities en enough to where they're not super oppressive or suppressive in freaking pv and then by default that makes gunplay better and by default you 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 nerf one hit kill potential think about destiny is it has things like shotguns and fusion rifles that dominate the game. And in order for you to rebalance gunplay the way you want to be, be rebalanced, you're going to have to to actually nerf those two things. Shotguns still run rampant in, in Destiny. And it's insane how rampant they are. Shotguns literally be are used as primary weapons. I said it before, in most video games or all video games, it's going to be very, very rare to see someone running around with a shotgun as a primary weapon using nothing else, just running around with a shotgun used in all situations. Because Destiny has a, a range issue as well with the shotguns. There are some shotguns that can snipe people. Looking at you, Chaperone is nicknamed the, the Maparong because it, 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 it just maps people. It's an insanely powerful shotgun that design doesn't make sense for its use. It's a sawed-off shotgun that shoots slugs. And you, this thing about having a, a sawed-off shotgun that shoots slugs in, in a sense where it's basically a sniper rifle. It's a very short barrel for some, some foreign gun that can, you know, snipe people. But anyways, so you have like these one, you have these shotguns and these rifles that, had, that, that are dominating the game's um, ecosystem. And you want to rebalance abilities to, to nerf, you know, abilities in... in, in, in make gunplay more important but you also need to focus on those two weapons as well to make sure they aren't still you know dominating the, the meta because right now as i said before destiny's gunplay isn't great but it's in a better state than it's ever been in terms of there's variety people are using hand cannons people are using fusion rifles i mean pulse rifles people are using scouts people are using autos people are mostly using the entire sandbox that's there when it comes to weapons yes again shotguns are dominant these rifles are basically the secondary dominant weapon when it comes to you know those 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 two guns and yeah hand cannons are still mostly god but there's still variety you're seeing people use pulse rifles you're seeing people use scouts you can use auto rifles and you'll see more of that when shotguns and fusions are nerfed and people who use them don't want those to get nerfed because you know they want to be able to, to slide and one tap people and that's also that needs to be nerfed. You need to, to nerf slide speed or slide accuracy. Something involving sliding has to be nerfed um, when it comes to, like, maybe not when it comes to, like, useful auto rifles and hand cannons, but mostly when it comes to the to, to, to shotguns. The slide, slide shots, sliding shotguns literally will make people not want to play the game. If you have someone who's, who's a casual and they're just playing, you no know, control, um, they get the pinnacles. You're playing... Um, Iron Banner to get the Pentacles. If someone slides shotgun in them, they're probably going to stop playing the game because they're going to feel like this is a bullshit tactic. They're going to feel like it's an unfair tactic. They're going to feel like it's a tactic that shouldn't be in the game. And it goes back to the fact that just shotguns are one hit kill potentials. And whenever it comes down to, you know, we got to cut off that range. Well, sliding kind of negates the range cut off of shotgun because you make up that range with the slide. So it should make sense in, in, in that description. Um, I don't know. I just it it worries me that they that they won't 
touch shotguns and, and fusion rifles. Because it's annoying when you're playing Crucible and you get one tap by main ingredient from mid range. Like you don't feel like that's like a a fair situation to be in where you know something that's that should be a close range weapon is the one tapping you from mid range. You know, I feel like gunplay has to mean gun fights means that you're actually having these engagements where you know multiple shots are being fired back and forth in this actual fair fight not you know, someone just maps you with a shotgun or took you out in mid-range with a fusion rifle you never really had a chance there was no gunfight there was no no gunplay just this one hit kill potential that, that exists there now think of if you're for someone who plays like card games like Yu Gi or Magic the Gathering think about it like like OTKs and FTKs and like how rampant those those had, those got at one point where Konami had to like nerf the shit out of some cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, do some 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 ratas and and some bands to to nerf the effectiveness of a lot of the OTK and FTK builds outs out there. That's what is in Destiny when it comes to shotguns and fusion rifles. You know, yes, abilities are also run rampant, but you know, even when it comes to to the gunplay of the game, you have this FTK you know weapon known as shotguns. You know, especially the chaperone. And the chaperone just needs to like, if if Bungie wants to like prove a point about their 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 plans to to rebalance the game's gunplay and rebalance the game's abilities, the chaperone needs to be like made an example out of. Like, if you want people to to, to know that you're being serious, the chaperone's the weapon. And they're they're nerfing Vex, which is good. I feel like Vex, yeah, it needed to get nerfed. You know, it's such a rare weapon people to come across when it comes to, to other players having it to where it's not really fair for such a good gun to be dominating when so few people have it because people are, so few people in the community aren't able to even do raids, which is, you know, ironic, which is why Bungie should have considered having, you know, a matchmaking system for raids. You have matchmaking for Menagerie, which is a six-player event. You have matchmaking for um, Astro Alignment, which is a six-player event. They're coming out with, with another six player event um with the 30th anniversary and it's gonna have matchmaking so why doesn't race have matchmaking that's an entirely different discussion than we're having in this video but don't throw it in there but i'm um, anyways when it comes to like the vex i feel like the only thing the vex really needed to get nerfed was it's flinching is insane so nerf how much flinching it does i think that, that, that just to be like an overall damage nerf to um the, when it goes into like that, that linear future rifle mode and that's pretty much about it. I don't really think that the overall damage from the gun or fire it needs to be nerfed, just flinching and the the, the overall power of the, the linear um effect of when it goes to the linear mode. But when it comes to the chaperone, you know, getting back onto that one, I remember I was watching True Vanguard, he was doing a stream, he's playing Trials of Cyrus. Um I'm not sure you got to the TV too. You might see the TV video on Wednesday. I'm recording on Tuesday. So this this would have happened on Monday, and him and his friends are playing trials, and they go up against a full team of Striker Titans. And you're playing top tree Titan, um, when it comes to storm to to strike to the, to the art class, and they're all running freaking um, chaperone. Like they did, they didn't use any other gun. They just sat and camped with chaperone and and wait for the supers to get up. So they're basically just relying on on those two things. They're relying on the super and chaperone. If True Vanguard's team pushed them, they got hop in the face on a chaperone. If team if, if Vanguard's team sat back and just didn't push them, then the, the team who's sitting here trying to camp their abilities and in, in 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 um their alts would just push them with their abilities and alts to get the kill that way. So it's like the chaperone just it here's here's what I always say. What makes something overpowered isn't who's using it, it's how does it dictate games. If a gun is dictating a game, if a gun is deciding who's winning and who's losing, if a gun's deciding you know, someone looking like a better player, that's when it's overpowered, when it's a crutch. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a clip, um, probably right about now, or where I'll, I'll put it on, on like Twitter or some shit, where I'm winning a 3v1, and the only reason I failed the 3v1 is because out of panic, this guy throws down the, the Glacier Grenade and Shatter Dives. Shatter Diving, which is getting nerfed, is a crutch, it's overpowered. Is used to 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 in a way to to help people win situations they they would not naturally win. Same thing comes to what what makes it a gun or power. If it helps people win situations that they would not, they they wouldn't normally win, it's overpower. It's supplementing or compensating for someone's lack of skill. That's overpowered. You know whether or not you get a kill or 
when a, a, a situation you shouldn't win should be based on your own ability as a player, your own ability with skill, not the gun compensating for what you lack and giving you a free win or a free kill. So that's why the chaperone needs to get nerfed and it honestly needs to get nerfed to the ground. Like you don't need to make it to where it's like it's not useful, but it needs to just to not have near as much range as it, as it has. And it needs to not have as much damage at close range. No, it should be a gun where you you literally have to get a headshot to get a one tap. This is a slug weapon, so it should literally only you should literally only be able to get a one tap with the chaperone if it's a headshot, and that's it. And it has to be like at a certain range, and at a, at a range beyond that range, it should, should not really affect it at all. You know, it shouldn't be be you know a sniper rifle. There's videos going on, on about chaperone where people are sniping with it. So if you're going to rebalance balance guns. The chaperone has to be at the top of your your list. Even a vex, the chaperone should be at the top of your list. You know, but other than that, I applaud Bungie for going ahead and um, you know, saying they're going to rebalance the vex, saying they're going to freaking you know rebalance abilities and nerf shatter diving and try to focus more on gunplay. Because I want that. I play a lot of PS games, and all those games have better gunplay than Destiny. And there's a reason why those games all have esports. Destiny does it because. Esport teams want to play games where the gunplay is the focus, not abilities. Not abilities. Even OW, which is a, a hero shooter, the gunplay is better than Destiny. And they have esports. Because gunplay is actually effective and, and it means something. It's not just everyone spamming their abilities all, all the time because abilities are on, on cooldowns and isn't as effective to like to just carry the gameplay. The guns are being used and need to be a very focused part of the game. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. You'll be safe. You'll be counting on the Pinky Boys. That's Archangel. The undiscovered talent. This here YouTube and Twitch. All my links in the description box below. Do all those things. The algorithm likes. Like the video. Subscribe. You know, share. All that good stuff. Comment. All of it. It helps, it helps the channel grow with the algorithm. The algorithm loves it. Do it. I'll catch you guys on, on the live stream. Peace.